Hello and welcome to um, my YouTube channel. This is going to be an extension of my Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, I will put the details below. And um, my name's Sarah and I rediscovered my love of creativity and art during uh, the 2020 lockdown did art and fashion at college and yeah I'm just really enjoying getting back into my art getting into my creative practice experimenting with different mediums so this YouTube channel is going to include various things and um, you know art all swatching a bit of process and everything um so I thought I'd start off this um channel with a an art haul that I've recently done. If you do follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of what's in the box uh, reels where I've done like little art hauls, etc. So this is going to be sort of an extended version of that. Whether or not it stays in this format, I'm not quite sure. Whether or not I continue to do them on Instagram or just do them on here, um, I'll see how it goes. But that's the plan anyway. So this is an extension of my recent What's in the Box reel that's got this um, items included. So this is the Jackson's Art Box. I buy most of my uh, supplies from Jackson's Art. I do have an affiliate link in um, the description box, um, which uh, the details for that are with the link. If you wanna use that, um, feel free to do so. Um, it doesn't cost anything to yourself. Um, all the details are in below. So anyway, I do use Jackson's Art to buy most of my um, supplies, but I have bought them from other places as well. This is all Jackson's Art um, supplies. I got a couple of vouchers for Christmas, so I decided um, to treat myself to quite a few things that I'd had on my wish list and quite a couple of things that I wanted to try. So I created a little basket of things um, to, to go. So first off, I have been collecting quite a few of these um, Ecoline liquid watercolours. I really like them. So I decided to get um, four more in some slightly darker colours than what I already have. So I, I bought Indigo. Um, what's this one? Oh, I can't read the writing, what is it? Oh, reddish brown. Um, pastel red. And I think carmine. I've bought a lot of carmine things recently, so I might do a video on my um, carmine collection. And also I might do a little video on the Ecoline um, liquid watercolours that I've bought so far. I'm really enjoying them. They are dye based. So they are slightly different to a, um, you know, like a, a watercolour in a pan, but I really do like them. This is um, brand new to me. I've not tried it, so I can't comment on what it's like. I saw it on um, Aliona Creates a YouTube channel and I thought, oh, they, they seem really interesting. So I'm going to give um, these a go. These are Art Graph. Um, it's, it's water soluble, it's a bit, it's shaped like a tailor's chalk, um, but it's water soluble. Um, and I bought this in Sanguine, I think you pronounce it Sanguine. So that I'm interested to give that a go. Again, these are something I saw on Aliona Creates YouTube channel, which I will link below. I really, really like their YouTube channel. Um, full, um, she uses a lot of um, mixed media and um, that's where I found the equal line from as well and I've been really enjoying them so and I'm very into mixed media so I, I like to try various mediums as well I like to you know experiment and I saw these on their YouTube channel and I thought they looked really good so I'm going to give them a go these are the Sennelier Artist Quality Oil Sticks um, what colours did I get? Mars Violet, Raw Sienna, and 
again a carmine red i've gone for a lot of earth tones um this time i don't um well i don't normally buy a lot of earth tones but i'm really drawn to them at the moment so i'm just expanding my collection with um with you know like earth tones and pinks and reds and everything and they'll mix in quite nicely with the greys and the blues that i already have um so i'm looking forward to giving giving them a go and, and finding some color palettes within those i've bought a lot of these neo color twos because i wanted to expand my um co uh, collection that i already have i do like the neo colors i'm getting very into them with the more mixed media stuff that I'm experimenting with. So I've bought quite a lot of the Neo Color 2s and I think there might be a couple of Neo Color 1s in here. I am gonna sw swatch these all out as well. But, uh, did I buy a Neo Color? Oh, I think I maybe took the Neo Color 1s off the list because <laughs> there's not any there. But I was gonna potentially get some. I do have, I think I have about four Neo Color 1s so the neo color ones so these are the karen dash and neo color two aquarelle aquarelles and um, the neo color twos are water soluble but the neo color ones aren't water soluble um and it's like a wax pastel um these ones like i say are water soluble so i've got various colors in these so i've got a sanguine uh saffron saffron even raw sienna i've got a bronze a salmon pink lots of pink and earth tones a salmon so slight slightly different in tones so i'm wobbling the camera a cinnamon what's this one um just pink or rose a uh, burnt sienna, uh, and another carmine. I do quite like carmine. Um, English red and light uh, cadmium red, like that. So they are going to be good to use, and I'll swatch all of them out for you in a video as well. And then I also got four um of the Caran d'Ache Luminance colour pencils because I'm liking using these in some mixed media work as well. Um, so I got, again, these are very pastel shades because I'm quite into them. So I got a violet pink. What's this one? Sepia 10%. These have, the Caran d'Ache Luminous have some gorgeous shades and tones within the shades as well so they're really nice for building up a palette violet grey and um, brown ochre 50 percent so i'm looking forward to giving those a try so i'm just going to put all of these back in the box and then i will do a swatching video i'm particularly excited um, because obviously the neo color twos and the pencils and even the eco lines you know obviously i don't have the colors that i've bought but i have tried them before so i'm very excited to try the colors but i know what they are like whereas this I've never tried before so i'm really interested to see what this is like um to use and the same with the oil sticks as well so i will see you in the next video and thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry for wobbling the camera. Bye-bye for now.